Hi, and welcome to OptiBase. To launch the app, simply go to the apps drawer, select OptiBase and click launch. Here you will need an API key, which you can find in the web app under your profile API keys, which you can copy, paste it here and click connect. The first step will be to copy and paste this script provided in the app to your site settings custom code. Paste it here in further code, save it, and publish the project. Once that's done, simply click done within the app, and now we can start building our first test. So for the purposes of this demo, we're gonna test two different headings and attach conversions to button clicks here, to this get early access button, and to the form down here. So the first thing we're gonna do is create our two conversions. The first one will be get early access hero. Click on the button, click connect, click event. And the second one is gonna be sign up for early access footer. Let's create it. Select the form element like this and connect submit event. Oop. This one, this one should be it like this. So now that we have our conversion events connected, we can create our first test. This is gonna be an AB test with the name of hero heading test, which will have two variants. So we, need, we first need to create the main variant, which is gonna be the default title that shows, usually the one you already have and that you know might work uh, as it works. Let's call it variant A for now. Simply select your element you wish to you wish to test and click connect. Once that's done, we need to taste, test it against something and we're gonna test it against variant B. Simply now simply copy and paste the same, the exact same element that you want to test that you already connected for variant A and select it, click connect like this. And now we can change it to green or yellow triangle. Something like this, for example. And now if you, if you switch between both variants, you can see the text also changes. So variant A will have this, this text. And there's currently no conversions, no page views, which you can also see here. And variant B will have this text, which also currently has no page views and no conversions. Perfect. Uh, you can also set, set any geo restrictions. So if you want your test to only show in certain countries or certain US states, you can do so by selecting the countries or states uh, and clicking add or you can just show them on specific devices. So phone, tablet, or desktop. Um, we're gonna show it in all countries and on all devices for this purpose right now. And below you also have the option of setting persistent variants, which basically means that users will have a consistent experience uh, whenever they come on our website. So we will always show them the exact same var variation, the exact same variant that they have seen for the first time. So they will not see a or B, they will always see A or they will always see B. Uh, it won't be randomly, randomly allocated. Uh, but for now, so we can actually test it on the website. We're going to keep this setting to off. If you go back, if we go back to the test, we need to set it to active. Once that is done, we just need to publish our project. And now if we refresh it, it will show a random text here, either from variant A or variant B. Let's put it some traffic. So we have a sample to test against. 
in the app, you will also now see that there have been page views for each variant. So variant A has had four page views, variant B has had eight page views. If we would be refreshing the site for multiple more times, or if we would be, uh, or if multiple users would come to the site, in that case, uh, the number would be way bigger. So now if we click get early access, we have one conversion for variant B. If we click it again, we now have two conversions. So if we now go down and enter form data, click get early access, we now have three conversions. So there have been two click conversions for the hero button and one submit conversion for the form and the footer. There's also an accompanying web app, which you can you can use to view your data, upgrade your plan, uh, see, see how your plan is progressing. You can also see all your conversions. Uh, you can implement them manually if you would not like to use the Webflow app. Uh, create new conversions via the web app, create new tests via the web app, or view your existing tests and conversions uh, within the web app with restrictions uh, and settings to, to uh, set persistent var variants or delete them. Uh, here you also have links to documentation, to customer support, API keys, domain whitelist, where you can base where you can basically whitelist only the domains uh, that you want your script to work on. This way, your API key would be locked only to your domain or to the domains you you uh, whitelist here. Uh, there's an affiliate program that we are running as well as upgrading or downgrading your plan. Um, that's it. Thank you for thank you for listening. Thank you for watching watching this quick demo, uh, and I hope you like you like our tool.